Alright guys, Discount Tools here, back again. We do a little video on the DeWalt 1500 pound shelf capacity industrial rack with wire grids. You can't, this is a three foot shelf, four foot tall, also about a little over four foot wide. Um, don't know the depth of the shelving, but as you can see, you, know, you should be able to do whatever you need here. Actually, sorry about that. Got the sun in my way. This is DXST 4500-W. Hassle-free assembly. I got this like last year. I haven't had a chance to assemble it yet. It was like $69, I believe, which is a really good price on this. This is usually $100. Um, you can, as you can see, stack them up. So if you have two, you can stack them up or you can stack them across which is a really cool feature so you can have a huge area here for miter saws or any of your tools and then have better spacing here um, you can also since this is a wire grid shelf get a solid shelf I think that's like 10 or 20 dollars more so if this was a hundred that would be like 120 um, I went with the wire because for the when you see this build quality you'll understand I'm hoping pictures don't lie to me but um, you'll understand why and you can actually just make your own solid shelves if you wanted to over the the grid so that way dust and stuff doesn't fold through but let's open her open and see what we have inside all right guys we opened her open you have it looks like one two three four and five of these yellow structural racks with this one with all the hardware inside and then you have the grates here one two and three so and also you get some manuals here for looks like Spanish English and Maybe German or French. But it's pretty cool that they do give you three different manuals. And let's see how these look inside. Oh, here, here's, here you go. So uh, the depth is 18 inches. 49.5 inches of width and a 47 inch height. Bunch of specs. Looks like uh, everything is actually um, included for your installation. You don't need anything else. And then you have some. Uh, this looks like some easy, very easy. Uh, what should I call it? Uh, specs here for the uh, for you guys. And then you have a one-year limited warranty, a 90-day money-back guarantee. So we'll see how this goes with the uh, the whatchamacallit, with uh, putting this together. Alright, be back. And just really quick, inside those boxes you do have more hardware uh, for sides and it looks like mounting brackets. And you get your bag of screws and your Nomar feet. Alright guys, so the next step is to basically get these two pieces here which... I don't know if you can see, but they have slots on the side here. One side has is the top, which is flat. The other side has no more feet over here, as you can see. And you just take these; these fold in from the other ones. As you can, you can see, it's not going in quite as well as I was hoping for. And you you line them up with the holes, and then you put a screw in. I'm trying to see. Let me see if I can find a screw. 
I wish that these were a little uh, more well organized. Um, the wolf I heard doesn't make these. Um, here we go. It's another company. It's just uh, labeled the Walt. So you take your screw, you line up the hole, put her in, and then they do give you an Allen wrench and a uh, a, a bit. Um, here you go for your drill. Um, as you can see. Um, I don't know if it's the fit and fit the finish on the bolt, but they don't fit well. Um, the screw, uh, the this bit and the uh, hex driver is just too small. So you're gonna. So I would say be careful when you're building these because you can have some slippage and you can strip out the bolt. Um, I went ahead. I got my Bosch Impact here. With the Milwaukee bit, it fits perfectly into the system, and then you can just I have it on speed one, just tighten it down. I would say not too hard. Um, the only thing I could see so far that's bad is um, the metal paint. This is just from a light scrape, so uh, I do like the design of it, but. Just be warned that this might rust if you don't take care of that. And this was just me just trying to get these two in. So. Let's see if we can line up this hole. And the way you do it is you got to line both of these up into one hole. So that... Uh, the bolt can will go through both and I already did it on this one as you can see oh, here we go So this is the top again. This is just the finished model and That and these are your two legs on the sides and then the next step would be just to put the middle in So I'll see you when we I'm up to that point All right guys, so right now. I'm just about done putting the cross beams up as you can see I'm gonna use to show you how to do this real quick um, very easy actually the only thing I will actually say is that the metal quality is it's good it's just not up to par um, what I was thinking of I was thinking more heavy-duty um, because uh, I don't think you could see it Nah, you can't but like a court like some of the paints already rubbing off but basically you have these locking tabs in and they go into here on both sides and of course you have product number date it was manufactured everything like that on the back and all you do is you kind of just put it in and as you can tell this is all one-handed um, and you just use some downward force locks right in and if you want to take it out you just pop it up you know you can use a if you don't have the strength you can use a ball peen hammer or a you know like a rubber mallet actually not a ball peen but it pops right out as you can see I mean super super easy for any person um but like I said the only thing I didn't like was um the paint, um, it just kind of wore off a little bit here and there. Um, if you, I wouldn't recommend, I recommend this for inside, but not uh, an outside purpose. But this still is cool. Um, as you can see, you have the DeWalt logo up here, and that's how you could tell. The, uh, the bottom two doesn't, I don't think, matter. Um, but I could be wrong, because uh, I see two over there with bolts. Actually, never mind. There's bolts on this side. <laughs> I just did it real quick, but the only real difference is that one side, you have a pair, one side has the DeWalt on one side, and the other side is the uh, serial number and manufacturing date, which is pretty cool. Um, so, the next part, I believe, is um, putting the cross, the other cross beams from here to here so that the shelving will fit on top, um, I believe, or giving it more support across 
more another you know another set of cross beams coming out really good guys um it's taking me a little while but i'm getting my bearings on this but this was the easiest part putting these in they didn't take that much time and this is not really the final uh i'm just setting everything up i just want to see what it looks like but this is not my final uh let's put uh my final uh my final configuration because i have a light switch in the garage where i'm putting this and i really don't want i want to be able to get it to it not have to go through everything here so i might take the top parts off and then have at least two shelvings there all right so i'll see you in the next part all right guys we're back now you have to install these uh i forgot what they call them the strap-ons <laughs> strap-ons let me get the technical number but the self-support straps and the safety straps so the ones with the threads on them are the safety straps and all you do is you can focus you take the small hex bolts come on focus as you could say they're the really small ones and you lay these up like this I made the mistake of going down, they won't go that way, so you have to go underneath the uh, bracket here and go up, and it's really easy actually, because with the coating on it, it's a little slip, it's not slippery, but it has some grip to it, and you just kind of uh, just work her in there. Put one in there for you guys. Yes, it folds down, but you got the guy the idea, I'll get that later. Um, you just you just uh, work her in, found her. That's why you don't do anything on the grass. Um, you just work her in, and then you take these safety straps, and all you do is you lay them in like this. One in there, one in there, and it looks like you're done after that. Um, you basically, this is the easiest part it looks like. <laughs> really easy, you just take a couple. And you lay them down like so. So you basically have two down here and three on top. And then all I have to really do is, I think, put the um, the grates up here. I just gotta see if there's anything else. I don't because, uh, as you can see, you just really put those on. Repeat the remainder of the eight straps. You have to have nine, and this is for the wall mounting instructions, which is pretty cool. You you can wall mount this if you want to uh, to make sure uh, the uh, yeah. to get it off the ground, or you just want a higher shelf. California earthquakes, stuff like that. Um, and that's it. Let me finish this up and see you on the next part. All right, guys. So I'm back. We got the one of the uh, grates up here. All you have to do is uh, lay it down. It'll pop right into place. And then you have to put, install these brackets here, which let me see if I can do it with one hand. It's not actually, oops, sorry, that bad. And you have to put them at the edge here. There we go goes right on and keeps the grate from moving around because they're just kind of they'll just move around on them took me a while to figure it out because if you can see the picture here they're going as if you're over here but not really looking over here I thought you had to attach it from here so 
just a heads up the instructions are not that great and as you can see you just put them on here again too actually as you can see there's plastic on this they send plastic for this side and I have a whole bag of stuff for this side and down here on, on each side and that's why there's wear on there as you can see if you focus right there uh, from the screws and everything that should have a plastic uh, a plastic piece there so one of these days when I pick I'll take this apart and put these back on I got a couple of more to build so now since the instructions didn't say that you had to do that I didn't do it so now just in, just a heads up if you have bought one of these that's what those pieces are for now you just go around you put these clips on each side and the only thing I have to go is okay so this is there's a locking pin at the ends of every cross beam there is this is where the locking pin shelf pins are to be installed if a pin does not easily slip into place then mildly tap at the end of the cross beam seating so okay oh where is the cross beam this this is when like you're like uh, I see one every every session over here and let me just show you where's the bag of goodies oh right in front of me the uh, cross beam these pins looks like so and if you could focus, you'd see DeWolf actually labeled on the pins. Um, I'm going to guess there's... I want it. See, this is the thing. Like, they show... Like, that doesn't really help. Um, unless it... Unless it's that... There you go. This is probably what they were talking about. So, basically, you put these... Because if you just saw that, I'd be like, what, I'm supposed to <laughs> leave it dangling in the midair? But that hole right here, you just put them right in here. As you can see, there's a little, little gap there. Oh, maybe down here. That's why you gotta bang them in a little bit on top, and then you just install it like that. It's really simple. Let me get back to you when I have everything done, but just a heads up for if you guys were a little confused on some of the steps, I was too. Oh, and I actually forgot one thing. Let me uh, just include this in the uh, video. Uh, they talk about a long side and a short side um, for the grates. Basically, it's actually they're talking about this. This is the short side, where if, basically, if you're gonna just move a lot of stuff from left to right, you want the uh, horizontal lines facing up, so they're up like that. But if you're doing a lot of um, pulling from the bottom, from back to front, then you want the uh, vertical lines uh, great up, and the horizontal on the bottom. As you can see here, I messed this up. I want the, I didn't realize that because I was reading it and I was like, what's the short end and what's the long end? Um, I didn't like their wording on that, but just a heads up on you, uh, for you guys if you didn't understand that. And now you'll see my final review. All right, guys, it's all done now. We got, I did not put all the, all the clips on all, all four sides of the uh of the rack but you can do that i just just trying to see what this whole thing looks like um just about evenly spaced i would say um maybe i could erase that rack a little up but yeah it's a pretty good cool rack actually system here um you can like i said you do have the mounting brackets here with the installation for that um and the tips on how to do that they also show you how to uh you take these off and you can install the other racks on top of this so you can make this a uh, a five or six rack uh system i don't need that this is per a perfect height actually a little too high from for my uses but 
pretty cool rack system. I really like this from DeWalt. Uh, I know they don't make it. It's uh, branded. Uh, but it's really cool. Um, I just wish the one the instructions were better to uh, the hardware was for Insulation hardware was better. They said that it was included, but it wasn't that great. I had to break out the Milwaukee and stuff um, But it was cool that they didn't give you the bit and the hex driver and stuff You see have sometimes you get these and they're not included so but I'm really happy with this stuff um let me know if you guys have this, uh, what your uh, comments are with it. I'm going to put this in my garage soon, um, right after this video. Um, but leave a comment down below if you have this or your, any comments on it. Uh, how is it working out for you guys? Um, please hit that like button. It's free to do. Helps out the channel. Uh, and just and if, you, if it's your first time watching this channel, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please go right ahead and... Just uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, you always get my new videos. Uh, we're always growing out here, we're always having new videos coming up. It might take a week, it might take a couple of days, um, when I'm busy, a couple of months. <laughs> but sooner or later you'll get a couple of sh uh, stretches where you get a video every other day. So, till then guys, keep on trucking guys. I'll see you on the next one.